Lee Hyperreal is the worst Gen 2 attacker. He's weaker than all these characters, but you should pull him anyway. Let's take a closer look. Cease your existence at the end of time. Second gen attackers are attackers that have timeline calculation included in their kit. TLC will stop the stage timer when doing their signature moves, massively boosting the amount of damage they can do in an instant. Just like all these other attackers, Lee can also do this, but the problem is, all the other attackers are just a little bit better. These other constructs have TLC on phase 1 and 2 of their signature moves, and they do well on the field for an extended period of time. Lee, on the other hand, only has TLC on one version of his signature move and performs best when regularly rotating with his other team members. To make matters worse for Lee, Watanabe Epitaph has just released on the Chinese server and is dominating the Fire Zone meta. Along with that, Liv Imperia will be receiving Leap Skills, giving her a huge boost in power to keep up with Watanabe. As a result, Hyperreal has developed a bad rap, bullied and teased by public opinion. But public opinion is misleading, because they are all overlooking one thing. Watanabe and Lee are not enemies. Watanabe and Lee are lovers. Wait, how did that get into the script? See, PGR is not a game where you can just pull the most OP characters and use them to clear all content. Rather, because the game modes need multiple teams, it's better to have large rosters built around elements. While you can fight off element, big scores are earned by taking advantage of elemental weaknesses. For Fire, the meta team is Liv Imperia as Amplifier, Nanami Starfarer, and later Watanabe Epitaph as the tank, and Lee Hyperreal as the attacker. Lee isn't just the best fire attacker, he's the best fire attacker for at least another year, possibly longer. And it isn't by a small margin either. The fire team has been in desperate need for a good fire attacker for quite some time. Before now, the best fire attacker wasn't the S rank Karenina Ember. No, unfortunately, the next best attacker is the A rank Lee Palefire with significant investment. And even then, his main role is to trigger QTEs for Liv Imperia and Nanami Starfarer. Lee Hyperreal is an enormous upgrade, bringing significantly more firepower to the team. Not only that, Lee has longevity, remaining meta far into the future, and fighting alongside Watanabe Epitaph after September 24 and beyond. Your chance of survival has been reduced to zero! On top of that, Hyperreal is fun to play and is built to have good synergy with his team, even doing damage when he's off the field. Just swap him in and, if his core gauge is full, hold down basic attack to enter what I like to call the Lee Dimension. Here, you get not just one Lee, but infinite Lees, but only for 5 seconds. Use this time to spam basic attacks and 3 pings until he has filled all the stacks on his signature move. Then use the signature move before his core passive ends. This will cause him to exit the Lee dimension, but right after you should have enough energy to use his signature move again. Do so, and Lee will trigger time lag calculation and do enormous damage. He won't be able to trigger his core passive for 8 seconds, so use this time to swap to another character. At double S rank, Lee pops in to deal extra damage when his allies use their signature move too. S ranks can be evolved to double S rank for free using Phantom Pain Scars, so be sure to take advantage of that. And because you'll be seeing a lot of him on the field, maybe you'll want to pick up some new outfits for him. Like this Bloodborne-esque outfit that makes him look like a vampire hunter. This coating will be permanently available and you can purchase it with RC or earn it for free with blueprints after the patch. He will also be getting this RC-only snorkeling outfit in the patch Cradle Parade, the one that Lamia debuts in. Because is Lee really Lee without a summer skin? So, should you pull Lee Hyperreal? Well, while Hyperreal may be the best fire attacker and has good longevity in the meta, what matters the most is what your priorities are and what your current roster looks like. If you already have Liv Imperia and Inami Starfarer, we recommend pulling for Hyperreal, if you can afford it. This will complete the meta fire team and let you cleanly clear fire element stages. If you're missing Nanami Starfarer, then things get a little hazy. On the one hand, Hyperreal will hyper-carry the fire team until Watanabe arrives around September 2024. 
On the other hand, if you're a new player, you may get more bang for your buck by investing in another team instead. This is extra true if you're missing Liv and Pyria, who, at this time, has no foreseeable replacement on the fire team. While it is possible to get Liv and Pyria on the free S-rank selector that will be available in Lucia Crimson Weaves patch around February 2024, we don't recommend Imperia for new players. Instead, new players may be better off using the selector to get Vera Garnet instead, since she's the best tank for Alpha's new frame. Number 21's Lightning Amplifier frame will round out the team when she releases shortly after, around April 2024. Basically, Imperia and Starfare are difficult to obtain, so if you don't have them by now, you may want to write off the fire team entirely and focus on other future characters. Sure, your scores will suffer in the Fire War Zone, but that's probably already happening, right? So, to sum up, pull for Lee Hyper Real if you have Liv Imperia and Nanami Starfarer and want the best possible Fire Team, if you want better scores and challenging content like Warzone or Phantom Pain Cage, and of course, pull Lee if you love Lee. As usual, Hyper Real has a 100% rate up during his debut and is guaranteed in 60 pulls or up to 15,000 BC. So if you want him, Spiral of Kronos is the best time to get him. However, you may want to skip Hyper Real if you are missing Liv, Imperia, and or Nanami Starfarer and would prefer to build a different team. It's also important to keep in mind that Bianca Snow Petals coding will be debuting around February 2024 and can be purchased with RC or with BC, but it's a lot of BC. So much BC that free-to-play players will have to skip a character to get their hands on it. Find out just what Bianca's Snow Petals coding has to offer, and what it will cost you in this video. Still, I like Grey Raven more than Cerberus. <laughs> Probably because you don't breakdance on the table. You don't, do you? 